Hi everyone. So this time I have a Hobby Lobby haul. Um, I went earlier this week um, and I didn't know that they were doing another clearance in the craft section. And well, I tried really hard not to buy anything because actually the only reason why I went there was to <laughs> buy this, which was um, ribbon because they had it 50% off this week. And I got like this mint green ribbon. It was for a project. Um, so let me go ahead and, sorry for the crinkling noise here, take out some of the stuff that I bought, or not some, all. Okay, so let's start, let me put this here. Let's start with Tim Holtz because they had it on sale this week. Um, So I wanted to pick up some Distress Oxide um, in colors that I don't have. I don't really have much Distress Oxide to begin with. Actually, um, this one is from uh, scrapbook.com when Salvage Patina came out. So I got Milled Vel uh, Lavender, Victorian Velvet, and Hickory Smoke. Um, I figured these would look really good, you know, for... Um, that whole vintage kind of look. So pick those three up. Okay. Oh, they're completely out of focus. Wait. Back. There we go. Okay. So the next set of stuff that I picked up was more Tim Holtz because, like I said, not 50% off. I'm sorry. It was 40% off this um, this week. So uh, such a big bag. I need to start carrying my recycled bags so I don't get all these damn plastic bags anymore. It's been a, a, like literally a whole year of just plastic bags because like the first like what eight months they wouldn't let you bring recycled bags in the stores. I don't know about everywhere else but I would go to Walmart and they'd tell me that I could not bring my bags in there and then other places yeah they just didn't want you bringing them in as if they're dirty. It's like, don't you think that we're going to like sanitize those too, you know, due to the pandemic. So I just got used to not bringing them in. And now it's like, now that they've relaxed in terms of like you bringing them in, I, I keep on forgetting to bring them with me. I keep them in my car, but I keep them in the trunk. So now I've got to get used to, yeah, always bringing them in because I'm so sick of these plastic bags. So anyways, um, I got the worn wallpaper scraps. Now I have the worn wallpaper, which I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere in my mess here, but I know I don't have this because it did not come with the um, flower ephemera. So um, I picked that up and um, I got two of the ideology um, sticker books. Now I have like the old ones, um, I probably have like two, but I have to find them also in my mess. But these I know I don't have because I don't have the snarky. This is small talk. And um, this is really good for, you know, for whatever, for pictures. Um, I was going to use this actually in some of the memory decks cards that I'm making, which I do need to show. I know. Um, this one is the metallic sticker book and it's just basically foil. That's all it is. So got that. Um, that's the only time I ever buy Tim Holtz is when it's on sale over at Hobby Lobby because we all know Michael's ain't shit. They don't do good sales anymore. And then they got rid of the 50% off coupon, which, or rather they just don't have it very often. And then they don't take a, what do you call it, competitor coupon. So it's like, why bother to shop there, you know? Can't use a good coupon. So, um... I mean, I don't like Hobby Lobby in terms of like what they stand for and all that stuff, but they do carry products that I can't really find anywhere else. So, and then you can't pass up their, what do you call this, their clearance when they do clearance it out. So let's start with the stickers here because um, I always need more stickers, right? Um, I got these... Um, these star ones here, these were 74 cents. Actually, let's just move in a bit more. 
Okay, got the star ones, got these animal ones. Note the fox, Clarissa. Um, I think I have this, I don't know if I do, but um, this one is a Paris one, which is really cute because I do need to redo my album in terms of like the last time that I was in Paris. So, and that was more than 10, almost 15 years ago. So these would work out really well. Um, I thought this was cute. They're raised, um, like enamel, I guess. Um, this, one, this one here is a travel one. Move down a little, little bit there. 74 cents. All of these are pretty much 74. This one is not. This one is 99 cents. But I thought it was just really cute with the bicycle and the house and the trees. Um, this here, I got it because, you know, 4th of July is going to be coming up. And it was 62 cents. And then, I don't know why I purchased these foxes, Clarissa. But anyways, <laughs> got that one and it's 74 cents. Um, then I got these two pads here. Go out. These are, I mean pads, paper packs. Now these are normally $5.99. If you have a Hobby Lobby, I'd say run because these are now $1.49. There were several different ones that they had on clearance, but these are the only two that I wanted to get. Um, I didn't see the, mer the usual mermaid one that I normally get. Either that one was already sold out or they've already stopped carrying it. So this, this one right here is, it's the water girl, I'm sorry, water girl, watercolor girls kit. Um, so as you can see, you get the, um, stickers, the letters or the alphas, um, you get gemstone stickers, you get the cutout or the die cuts, and then you get the paper. This is not bad for $1.49. I probably should have bought more, but I was just like, I don't really need any more paper. Like I knew, like I don't need stickers, right? So I only picked up this one and then I got this stargazer one um, because I do have, I think I have a pad that's um, kind of celestial. Plus I have that Prima paper that I got too, that was a moon child. So it will work well with this kit. Um, same thing. You know, you got your stickers, your alphas, chipboard stickers, and then you got the paper. So $1.49, cannot beat that. Um, and that is it in terms of like my haul from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go back because I'm really trying to avoid getting any more crafts like this, but I still keep ordering, right? But anyways, um, I'm going to try to show some projects that I've done with um, either the Distress Oxide or with um, probably like just the memory decks in general using it. Um, and you know, these two sticker pads, sticker pads, um, yeah, sticker pads. Anyways, sorry, I'm, I'm actually kind of tired and I probably shouldn't be filming, but like I said in the previous video, I just want to get this done. <laughs> All right, so um, hope everyone's had a good Memorial Day or, yeah, we weekend, and I will see you on the next haul, okay? Bye-bye.